Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about a topic that I am constantly getting asked about, so I'm finally happy to be bringing you this video. I'm going to be showing you my top five luxury foundations. So if you wanna find out what the top five are, then just keep watching. So a question that I am constantly getting asked is what is your favorite foundation? Now let me give you a little spiel about luxury foundations and why I chose to do a luxury foundation video first. I am a huge stan for drugstore foundations. I think there are drugstore foundations out there that are better than a lot of other expensive foundations out there on the market. However, these five luxury foundations I feel are at the top of all foundations. So I really would argue that even though this is a luxury video, these are my top five favorite foundations. When you find a good luxury foundation, I feel like the formula is unmatched and the best of drugstore and the best of high-end really can't compete. The foundations that I chose in this video, I really feel are truly something special, which is why I'm very excited to talk about these with you guys. So if you are looking to truly invest in a really good foundation, I've picked out five that I love for different reasons and different occasions. So hopefully this is the perfect guide to help you out. Now, these are not going to be in any particular order because I love some more for different occasions and different reasons so you can't ask me to rank them because that's too hard <laughs> so for the first one I chose the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup now this is actually what I am wearing in this particular video and I love it every summer I actually fall in love with this foundation again because this is probably the longest wearing foundation in this video. So if I am looking for something that's a little bit more full coverage, that's going to last me a long time, this is what I go to. So the basic notes for you guys about this is that it is more medium to full coverage. You can build it to full. If you use a sponge and a little bit less products, you are going to get more medium coverage. It is a bit of a thicker consistency, so it's not going to give you a skin-like appearance. It is makeup on your face, but it's very smoothing to your pores and just overall perfects the face. Like I said, this is an extremely long fit wearing foundation, and this is my favorite foundation for evenings. I normally do not wear this out in the summer during the daytime because I hate wearing too much makeup when I'm hot and sweaty. However, when I know it's going to be more hot or I'm going to a place that's going to be more hot and I'll be sweaty in the evening, I definitely go for this foundation because I still want that coverage, but I also want it to last. So this definitely is the most long wearing foundation of this video. It really perfects the skin and smooths everything. Like my skin looks quite flawless because of this. If you're looking for something really light, on the skin, this is quite thick, so you do feel it. But you know what, it is really just a beautiful foundation. My go-to evening foundation, or in the winter when I want something that's going to be full coverage and long wearing, this is what I go to. The next foundation that I have here is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now my thoughts on this foundation is that it is the most versatile foundation of all the foundations that I'm going to be talking about in this video because I wear this anytime, any place, any time of the year. Compared to the Estee Lauder, which I just mentioned, this is actually much lighter on the skin. My skin can breathe more easily in it so I like to wear this during the daytime and the nighttime. I do like wearing this in the nighttime because it is still a very long wearing foundation. So this for me is just really reliable. So I always bring this with me when I'm going to travel or stay elsewhere because it's good for any occasion, honestly. Now it is not a full coverage. It is buildable, but I would say, generally speaking, it is a medium coverage. So you're always going to see a little bit of your skin peeking through. But I personally prefer a medium coverage, so I still think this is beautiful. And like I said, it lasts a long time. It feels really light on the skin. Now I would say the finish on this is more demi matte but this definitely can be altered it really agrees with whatever you want to do with it so if i just apply this alone it is more of a demi matte finish even though it is called luminous i personally don't notice too much luminosity with it however if you put a glowy or luminous base underneath for some reason this foundation lets that shine through so i really like that i can do kind of whatever finish i want with this because if i put for example mac strobe cream or charlotte tilbury flawless filter underneath my skin is glowy and shiny and this just lets the right amount go through so that is why this is my favorite foundation you know it's not the most 
pour smoothing but I just like how it feels on my skin and how it's not too heavy it looks good and it's a trustworthy foundation so that is why this is definitely one of my favorites I know some people don't see the hype in it and for the longest time I did not until I realized I kept grabbing for it because it works for any time and any place it took me a while to see how amazing this foundation was but i just realized girl you're grabbing for it all the time of course it's one of your favorites and you didn't even notice so next we have a stick foundation so i have the tom ford traceless foundation stick i love this as an everyday quick throw on foundation and I really like foundation sticks this is very buildable I will say though it does kind of stop at a medium coverage but you can get a little extra coverage in the areas that you want to build so normally when I just want to light everyday foundation I go for this and what I really like about this is that you don't need to set it it looks extremely skin like when you don't set it honestly of course you are going to get a little bit more shiny if you don't set it but when I just want to go out and run errands I'll just quickly spread this across my face and it looks like skin which is absolutely beautiful it blends out like a dream I find with some stick foundations either it doesn't blend or it blends too much so that you look like a grease cake at the end of the day this is that perfect in between to where it blends out nicely but it still has a little bit of oil control especially when you set it but for me what is best about this is how easily it blends out and how much it looks like skin and if I know I'm going out for a long day I will set it but if I'm just going out really quickly and I just want to feel like I'm not wearing makeup and I want to look like I'm not wearing makeup don't set it and this is beautiful as well it's Tom Ford so you know it's a little bit pricey but it's totally worth it it does its job and it does it so well okay so I'm gonna be honest this is probably my favorite foundation but it's also the worst value this is the Dior skin air flash foundation so this is made by Dior and I cannot get enough of this foundation I have repurchased this time and time and again but unfortunately like I said it definitely has the worst value so I've had to repurchase it time and time again because I run out of product so quickly now the best way to apply this is with a sponge to spray on your sponge and then put it on your face I will admit sometimes I do just directly spray my face but you got to be willing to get messy but that way I'm not wasting any product and it's not soaking into the sponge but honestly the best way to have most the most control is to apply it with a sponge this has a very skin like appearance but in a flawless way so this foundation for example it just looked like straight skin this looks looks like it's your skin but everybody knows it's not because it's too perfect if you're looking for a foundation that you cannot even feel on your skin this is the way to go it is so lightweight because it is a spray foundation it really gives an airbrush appearance I personally use airbrush on my clients not this but I use like actual airbrush and this definitely is very reminiscent of that very skin like very easy to apply like I said medium coverage but you can build it a little bit for a little bit more you're not gonna get full full coverage and this lasts all day this for me is the perfect special occasion foundation mostly because I don't want to waste it so that's why I only use it on special occasions but when I want my skin to look just plain flawless I go for this it's not a glowy foundation it's more demi matte but it works with the natural oils of your skin very well that makes it look more skin like so I cannot say enough good things about this foundation that I mean I'm gonna say it like this is my all-time favorite foundation so if you are looking for a luxury foundation that's just gonna be out downright amazing here, this is it this is the best and this also by the way pairs well with other foundations so if you want the coverage put down any foundation that you want like it works great with stick foundations and just spray on your sponge and then put this over top to really give that beautiful airbrush look to the skin so I love this one now I believe this is the most expensive foundation but here's the last foundation we have La Mer the soft fluid longwear foundation now before I had tried this foundation I honestly had not found a foundation that reminded me or had the finish of my Dior air flash until I came across this I feel like this is air flash in a liquid form now there are obviously some differences in
in the formula, but I still get a similar perfected skin look that the Air Flash does give me. So I really like that I have this liquid form because it is a little bit more buildable. I would say this feels a little bit heavier on the skin than the Dior does, but it's not bad at all. Like Though I still like the Air Flash a little bit more, this is my favorite liquid foundation ever. You can wear this any time of the day. It's very versatile, just like the Giorgio Armani, but it looks better the Giorgio Armani and it's one of those foundations that just looks better the longer you wear it every time I wear this foundation people are like what is on your skin and I'm embarrassed to say it's this really expensive one <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna rank but these two are the best but don't get me wrong those other three are also absolutely amazing but of course the two that are the best are the worst value but <laughs> I gotta be honest so those are my top five luxury foundations let me know if you want me to do a high-end and drugstore version of this but I did want to do luxury first because these are perfection I'm not gonna lie to you so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a good one